Hi there, I'm Sean McManus from Neighbourhood, and in this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to make delicious espresso. But at the same time, we're going to touch base with some of the most undesirable flavours, like over and under extracted coffees. Over here, we have our group handle that is being dosed and tamped. As we start, we're going to purge our group. This ensures that it's clean. Inserting the group handle ever so softly, we can now select whether we want a single cup, a double cup, or if feeling a little bit more adventurous, we can go with the manual button. Now there are some key signs to looking for a great quality extraction. First, the colour of the extraction. We want to start with something rich, caramel, blonding out. Generally, the blonding tends to be a little bit more complex but can also add a little bit of bitterness. We want to make sure that we look at the pressure gauge and it will be in our target zone. Now an optimal espresso to me is something that's sweet, round, vibrant and juicy. A lot like this one. But now let's talk about some flavours that we're not looking for. First, over extracted. This can give us flavours of bitterness, dry and a little bit grainy. To remedy this, we either need to lower our dose, grind a little bit coarser, or reduce the length of our shot time. Now at the same time, we need to make sure that our coffee isn't under extracted either, which is going to give us flavours of sourness and acidity. To fix this, grind a little bit finer, or up our dose a little bit more. This will help increase a bit more extraction and give us an all-round sweetness in the cup. If you're having any trouble, here's some tips to get you through. Once again, we want to look at the espresso machine and make sure that our pressure gauge is in the target zone. We also want to make sure we can look at our espresso extraction and know that it's coming up rich, caramel and blonde and running between 20 to 30 seconds. Using our palate also helps us. Don't just taste the good things, also taste the bad things. And at the end of the day, we can only get better one way and that's by practice, practice, practice. 